Hey guys, welcome to my Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix item finding guide. As you know, uh, several items have changed locations in Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Uh, they've added several items that you need now to synthesize new items, so I'm going to show you guys where to get each and every one of these items. So first thing we're starting with is Serenity Power. Serenity Power is found in the deep jungle world uh, at the treehouse. Uh, you have to kill a special enemy called the Pink Egracius, and I will show you guys how to kill that special enemy. But pretty much before we start, you want to make sure you have... Um, on Sora, you want to make sure you have Encounter Plus, which lets you encounter more enemies. And you want to have Lucky Strike on all of your teammates to increase the chance of an item drop. So first thing you want to do is want to go to the treehouse. Right now, I am at the climbing trees I think that this place is called but uh first thing you want to do is go to the treehouse now this is normally where the white mushrooms spawn and they normally spawn see they're not gonna spawn right now so what I normally do is go here activate these heartless I run back go back to the climbing trees I go to the treetop right here to reset the heartless again that way now the the white mushrooms have a higher chance of spawning. So I'm going to go back to the treehouse. And now the white mushrooms should spawn. Again, I'll just trigger these heartless and go back. And now that I already went to the treehouse, or the uh, the treetop over there once, you don't need to go back there again unless you trigger the white mushrooms and you go do the Gracious thing and you come back. But come back. And then you keep going back and forth, back and forth, until the white mushrooms decide to spawn. There's really not a set instance of when it happens. It's all r completely random, but it should happen after four or five tries. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go back. And it looks like they're being really picky today for some reason. weird. It should spawn right now. Contrary to popular belief, you don't have to kill those Heartless and clear the Heartless, because if you leave and come back, they're just going to respawn anyways. You just have to come and trigger them and then leave. And see, there we go. The White Mushroom ended up appearing. So you, what you're going to want to do with these guys is see how they're not moving. It's indication to cast stop. You're going to target it and stop it, pretty much. It's going to jump up in the air, indica indicating that you've done it right. It's going to give you a bunch of mana, and you're going to move on to the next one. Now, there are several locations where these white mushrooms appear on this after you keep going back and forth and back and forth and making them appear. So that was the first spot. This is normally the second spot right here on this boat. I'm going to glide over here, stop this one, and it's going to give you mana. Then you're going to go over here inside the, the house, and you're going to stop this one up here. No, these are these three spots are normally the three spots where they appear. Generally, 100 not I wouldn't say 100 percent, but I'd say like 70 percent of the time they were appear they will appear there. But for this next part here, you want to make sure that Donald and Goofy's attacks are all set to occasionally because it's really hard to do this. But you're gonna want to make sure that that's done, and you want to make sure Sora has Ragnarok equipped. And what Ragnarok is, it's a special ability that gives you a whole bunch of hits, and let me explain to you guys how this is done right here. This is the pink Agracius boss, or like, mini game thing. This, this will not take any damage unless you stop it, pretty much. And what you have to do, I'm going to pause it just so it doesn't go away. What you have to do is you're going to have to stop this boss, and you're going to have a few seconds where you can, you try to land as many hits on it, uh, before the stop wears off. Now, if you get above 60 hits on this enemy, you guarantee a chance to drop Serenity Power. Uh, that's about a 40% chance. So, uh, what you want to do to get the maximum amount of hits on this boss is you want to switch to its head. You can switch between targeting. Switch to its head first. You want to cast Arrow on Sora. So then it does, it gives you, see how uh, in the middle of the screen there's like a little yellow flash? You want to cast Arrow on Sora so you can give him additional chance to get more hits on the boss. Um, you're going to target its head and then 
gonna hit stop. Ragnarok. Make sure you don't miss the prom. Switch back to its body. Keep hitting it. Go back to its head. Cast Ragnarok again. Go back to its body. And keep repeating until the boss snaps out of the stop and end up doing a bunch of dance moves. But as you can see, I'm getting tech points for every time I hit the boss. I don't think I'm going to make it to that many, but generally it's going to drop Serenity Power. As you can see, it just dropped Serenity Power right now. I only managed to get 60 hits on it, but after about about 40, above 40 hits, you'll generally get the Serenity Power. But um, that's how you get Serenity Power. It's really not that hard. Uh, make sure you have these set abilities. Make sure you have Ragnarok, Lucky Strike on Sora and all the other party members. And I'll show you guys where the rest of the mushrooms normally spawn. So we already we already saw that one of them's on that boat right there. Normally, uh, the other ones are normally. Let me show you guys. It's really really not that hard. Up here, one is going to be. There's a chance that one is going to spawn up there on that little beam, as you can see that beam with the little rope on it. One could spawn on top of that. One could also spawn on top of here, this little ladder. You're gonna climb up the ladder and there's a chance that one will spawn over here on this beam right about here. Uh, there's another chance that another one will spawn... oops, I need to go back up there. There's a chance that one can spawn over here on this little this little area and if I'm thinking I'm not missing one more there might be one more location I think that I'm missing I think I hit all of them uh, yeah I think that's all the locations where they normally spawn and then you have the, the first location which is generally over here on this little path uh, right when you come out of this path one will be right right here in front of you but uh, yeah, that's how you get Serenity Power in Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Um, and I will get more of these up to you guys pretty soon, explaining to you guys how to get Mithril, mithril Stones, Blazing Stones, Energy Stones, and everything, pretty much everything else that's hard to get and that I uh, knew that they added. But yeah, um, this is your boy Sagmental PC signing out.